Today I'm going to show you the new um, advanced capture mode in uh, GamerCap. So uh, for those uh, that are familiar with XSplit, um, it's got a lot of similar sort of concepts. So uh, you can have multiple scenes set up so that you can change the, the way your video looks during the capture. Um, it'll also support it during live streaming, but uh, that probably won't be in the first release. Okay, so basically you've got a series of scenes. Each scene has like a render stack. So for example, I've got the scene one, goes from the capture device to the target output file. So I can you know, click on each of the boxes there to, to get a view of, of what the settings are. So um, basically by default, all the scenes are set up that same way. So you're gonna get basically a raw copy of the video uh, when you make a recording. Now you might want to change the look of some of these scenes. So for example, we might want to have maybe a, a starting page on our um, on our recording. So we might want it full screen, you know, covering the entire video. So here it says, you know, we've got the capture device video, we're adding the, the image to it, and it ends up in the target file. So we might want to also add some text. Uh, we'll make it nice and big, something like size 20. Uh, I'll just resize it. Telling people to visit our website. Um, I might want another scene that's got maybe um, the same message but smaller and in the corner. Um, and I might want to add me in a webcam. Okay, I'll use my Logitech webcam. I'll put it over here. Yeah, I'll put it there. That's fine. And I might want a scene that's just gameplay uh, with no text or uh, graphics over it. Oh no, maybe we'll, we'll have the text. Put the text in the same corner. Okay, so we've got three scenes set up, sort of like an intro screen. Um, a main gameplay screen with me with a webcam overlay and maybe another scene with just some text and there's some plain scenes there that'll just be just video so um, if I want to edit any of those I can just either double click on them and change the settings this is like the, the text alignment for example um, you know I can uh, change the image and so on and I can go add numerous text and image fields if I want. Uh, in future there will be other sorts of elements that you can add to the screen, but this is what's going to be there in the first cut. Okay, uh, let's start it up. Now, it takes a few seconds to start up, it's got to go and start the device and uh, render it for the first time. Okay, we should be up and running now. Yep. So, you know, for example, we might want to do a recording where we've started with the title screen so there it is ticking away you can see how long it's recording i can maybe change to scene two or it'll go off and start the the webcam um, and add my text in the corner then you know i can dynamically change to another scene if i want you know so this one might just have the text added sometimes i might just want to show the whole whole gameplay screen so the, all the graphics and everything are removed. And I might want to switch back to my webcam scene or something. And, you know, maybe for the end of it I might want to show them our title screen again. And I might want to stop my recording. And that's it. So for example, that's the recording that we just made. Shows us like the title screen a few seconds of that and then we uh, moved into yeah some gameplay with webcam and okay you get the idea